yeah, I wanted to uh, talk to you guys. Okay, so you are getting close to uh, your labor, right? Your bitch, your female, your dog, or accident, accidental litter. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know why it should be in the accident if, if well, you know, shit just happens. If your neighbor dog just locked your dog up, hey, it is what it is. Shit happens, right? So not a lot of you guys are breeders too. A lot of you guys are just some family home dogs or just family, family people that your dog just got pregnant and you're scared. So anyways, this is a video for you. <laughs> uh, okay, so we are getting close to the Labor Day, right? The Labor Day, baby. Um, okay, now... So the symptoms that you gotta watch out for for your female, right? Okay, so let's watch, let, what 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 do we have to watch out for? Okay, so first, you gotta have to to check her temperature, right? And I advise you, I recommend for you to check her temperature way before shit starts going down, way before these symptoms start happening, right? So, check her temperature because the thing is. Every thermometer reads very different. They can read different, guys. Not every thermometer reads the same. Every thermometer has a different reading. So that's why I say, and every dog has a different base temperature. Men, women, males, females have a different temperature as well, but just everybody has a different temperature. It's just the way it is. That's why I say, every little thing plays a factor. So that's why I say that not Every time, if you heard the saying that when she hits 98 degrees, shit's gonna go down. No, 99.0 can even shit go down. So that's why I'd say you gotta know her base temp. So, and then when it drops two temperatures down, two like degrees Fahrenheit, okay, shit's about to go down. But think, the thing you gotta realize too is you gotta see, okay, okay, she's shaking, is she shivering? Right? Is she cold? Like she looking cold. She's shivering. Right? She's shivering. Or is she is she whining? Is she bitching? Is she moaning? Like, like, like she whining? Right? <laughs> um, or is she nesting? Right? She's nesting. She she's she's scratching places. Right? Nesting. She's scratching things. Or she's scratching out the ground. She's trying to find a spot. Or she she finding a place. She's trying to get under things. Or or she's scratching shit up. She's tearing shit up. She's making a nest. It's like birds. She's making something to, to have a comfort area so she can have her pups. That is how she makes her pup. Like, to, to have her labor. Shit's going to go down. Once you start seeing all that and her temperature drops too, shit's going to go down, guys. Most of the time, shit's going to go down. But... If you only see their temperature goes down and you don't see any of the other stuff, um, it could fluctuate, guys. Temperature can fluctuate back too. But at the same time too, you guys, you got to remember too, man, that you have to, you know, every bitch is different. Or every bitch is different. Every dog is different. If it's the first time, they don't know what the hell is going on. They just, they're just being crazy. Hey, they're just being crazy too. You don't know, but... That's a good sign. Shit's about to go down. <laughs> if it's uh, a couple litters that she's had now or she's experienced, she knows what's going to go down and she's not as crazy. So that's why I say every bitch is different, right? Every dog is different. So, okay. Now, now that we got everything down, okay. Now you're going to go take your dog to go to the vet, right? You take your dog to go to the vet and you say, hey, look. Look, I don't do scheduled C-sections, guys. I I do I just do walk-ins, right? ER, emergency room, or I just do walk-ins if my vet is open during that time. But what I can say is I do a reverse progesterone test, right? Not a lot of vets know this, surprisingly. I, I wish they would know this. Reverse progesterone, progesterone right? An RP. You want to do reverse progesterone, right? And talk to your vet, right? I'm not going to say the numbers, but you got to talk to your vet like... Are these numbers fine, right? These numbers would tell you that your pups are ready to get come out, right? Your bitch, your dog is ready for a C-section. If you want to do a C-section, right? If you are opting to do a C-section, then that tells you that she is ready. The pups are ready. She, is, You're ready for surgery. You can have the pups to come out. They are ready to come out. That is what a reverse progesterone is. And that's why I say, whenever you sign that fucking waiver, you cannot sue them, right? Look, I love my vets too. I, I love vets. But sometimes some vets, they don't know everything too, guys, right? When I've been in this field of this breeding for a couple years now, you pick some things up more than your vets too, right? That's why whenever you talk to breeders, do you talk to vets? No, you, you talk to breeders like me, 
the street style, right? You, you learn the little shit like this, what, what, what goes down. So anyways, okay, you do reverse progesterone, pups are good, boom, you cut her up, pups are fine, you get home. Hopefully you have this set up already. You got your temperature, your heat set up. Half, I call this the half hot, half cold method, right? Half hot, half cold rule. That's my rule, nobody else, that's mine. Somebody claims that, bullshit, that shit's mine, okay? That's, I, I claim that. <laughs> um, half hot, half cold, it don't matter what you use. You could be heat lamp, heat lamp, heat, heat lamp, heat pad. Okay, you got that? What I can say now, okay. Cause the reason why you do half hot, half cold, right? Half hot. You do have hot because your pup, you want your pups to feel hot, you know, if they're feeling cold, right? Vice versa. If they're feeling a little too hot, they'll get out. They'll get out the heat lamp, the heat pad, and go to the cold area, right? They'll switch back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and they should be good. They'll be comfortable. They'll switch. They're instinctually smart, guys, right? This is the reason why we feel pain. Like, ah, that bitch hurts. We feel pain, right? Why did I squeeze my neck full? Um... Why did I pinch my neck fall? <laughs> um, that we feel pain for a reason, because it tells us what is wrong. Which is why people that don't feel pain, like those those people that have those disabilities, is it a disability uh, that don't have their their nerve feelings of feeling pain? They don't live long because they don't know if they're feeling pain, which kind of sucks. You know, it does suck. Um, that's the reason why we feel pain. So, anyways, pups are instinctually smart. They know they know where to move. Hey, I'm getting too hot, I'm moving to the cold area. Hey, I'm getting too cold, I'm moving to the hot area. Or hey, I wanna fill in between, I'll go in the borderline of the heat lamp. I, I talk about this all the time, okay? If you're new to my channel, guys, subscribe, please like, subscribe. I, I teach you shit all the time and teach you from the heart, teach you from the realness, man. Um, I've helped, I think close to a thousand, like a thousand, like I think a thousand people. I know a couple hundred people I helped out already. Um, but anyways, what I wanted to say is, you got that down, okay, now, golden time, I call it to the golden time, they, that colostrum, you squeeze in the mom's milk, right? Make sure you squeeze the mom's milk, I forgot to say this, right? Temperature is what matters the most first. Number one rule is the temperature has to be right. Number two, okay, now they need the milk, the colostrum. I call this the golden time. So, without the temperature, let's say this, without the temperature right, your pup's gonna die. Unless they're with the mom. Mom's body heat should supply enough. But if you got a lot of puppies, the body heat alone will not help you, right? Body heat alone will not aid or heat all the puppies, right? So that's why you need a heat lamp, a heat source. So without the without the heat, your pups will die. The body can't function correctly. Even when you feed them, their body can't function even right either. So you don't have the temperature right, they're going to die. That's it. So number two, golden time. Colostrum, that milk that you squeeze out, you squeeze the milk out, make sure she has milk. That gold milk, it's not it's not white milk like cow's milk. Not yet, okay, not yet. You're gonna have the colostrum. Gonna, you need that gold, that gold yellowish, oily type of milk. You need that milk. The pups need to eat that, right? They have to eat that stuff. They eat that, they get strong. That shit gives them immunity, right? That's the good stuff. You want that stuff. It's not bad milk, y'all. It's not. I thought it was bad milk before, but it, it, it's not. It's it's the good shit, the good stuff. You want them to eat that. <laughs> um, okay, first. Okay, now now you do that. First, second, like first two days. Now two to three days, you keep going. Regular milk should come in now. Maybe regular milk already came in already after a couple of hours. You don't know. Okay, no. What you got to do is got to weigh them. Make sure that you are watching the temperament of the pups, right? And what I mean by this, are they chill? Are they chill, right? That's it. Are they chill? Are they still strong? They're not crazy. I'm not saying your pups to be crazy. You don't want your pups to be crazy. I'm saying for your pups to be chill, but they're strong. Whenever they latch on the nipple, they can hold on, right? They're holding on. They don't get off. They're not too strong either. They're not too crazy where they going back and forth, you know, like in a concert and then they get off, right? They're like, and they suck off and then they get off. I hate puppies like that. If you have puppies like that and they're too crazy, you either got to hold them on the, to the nipple or you got to just two feed them for real. I, I hate puppies like that, you know, because sometimes, most of the time, they're going to keep doing that, doing that, and doing that. And, and when they keep doing that, they get fatigued, they lose energy, they, they lose weight. And that's when they get sick, right? So I hate puppies like that. Puppies like that, you don't want them to be crazy, but 
to prevent them to being crazy anyway, what you gotta do is you just gotta feed them constantly. At least every hour. People say every two hours. No. Every one. Every one to two hours, guys. Every one to two hours. Okay. Not every two to three. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Every one and a half hour. Okay. I can say that. Every one and a half hour. Okay. Now that you've done that, your pups are gaining weight. Pups are not crying, they're not whining. They're just chill, they're eating, and then they're sleeping. Most of the time, they should be sleeping. And they're not dead. <laughs> they should be sleeping. 20% of the time, they eat eat for a couple minutes, maybe eat for like five, 10, 15 minutes. You know, if they get it good, they eat it good. Then after that, they stop, they stop latching, make sure there's no milk coming out the nose. If there is, suck it up. Clean it. If the milk coming out of the nose when it's sucking, don't take them off. You take them off. That's when they aspirate. Let them keep eating. After that, then after after they're done eating, they get off the nipple. They're done eating. They're full. Then you wipe the nose, suck it up. After that, leave them be. Let them sleep. They're in, they're in a food coma. That's it. They're good. Next one to two hours, same process happens again until they get old <laughs> until you hit two and a half weeks right and when you hit two and a half weeks eyes start to open right the eyes open boom right there once you have that oh man that's easy work it's easy working out you don't gotta do anything but the first week i can say okay so first week is very critical let's say that first week is very critical um you gotta make sure you gotta keep your a game on right make sure they're eating make sure they're gaining weight weigh them every day once a day they're gaining weight every day you should be fine if a puppy is losing weight you got a damn problem in your hands or maybe maybe you just didn't feed that pup as good or that pup um he, he didn't get food good enough so but remember is this is this pre-feeding weigh-ins or is this post-feeding weigh-ins you got to remember that too so if you're weighing a puppy when they're fed next time you, you weigh them when they're fed too as long as they're gaining weight guys that's what matters right Okay, you keep doing this process. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until two and a half weeks old. Eyes open, right? Boom, easy work, okay? That shit easy, you don't gotta worry about nothing. Now, we get to three, three and a half weeks, four weeks old. Now it's the time to start weaning them, right? I do, I my, my personal recipe, I do puppy kibble, it don't matter what you use. Grind it up till it's very coarse and, and fine and grainy. No sediments, no hard shit, nothing at all. It's all soft, right? All like sand feeling, right? It's all sand looking. It's just all like grainy, right? Like sand or like dirt. There's nothing in there. There's nothing hard because the puppies can eat. They can choke and die too. Remember that. Um, after that, um, you mix pumpkin in it and you can do puppy powder or whatever you're using. After that, um, mix it all in together. Make sure it's very... Uh, it's very mushy. It's not liquidy. If you do it liquidy, like a liquid mush, they can aspirate on that. But you have to teach them too. So if you have mom in the picture, right? If you have mom in the picture, then what you can do is, is you know, teach the puppy. Mom can teach the puppies how to eat it. Or if mom's not in the picture, you got to put it on their mouth, right? Or shove their face in the food and they'll start leaking. Then they knew it's food. It's going to get dirty. And you should be good that's it that's it that that's that's my number that's my guide on how to wet pups for the basics um things that you guys got to watch out for is aspiration pneumonia right when whenever you bottle feed or two feed i i hate bottle feeding to be honest guys let me i forgot to say this bottle feeding for the first week for the for week old puppies if for for the first week of puppies is absolutely garbage it's trash dog shit is what i can say because they can aspirate, especially if you don't have the right nipple too. It's garbage, man. It's terrible, which is why I always say two feed and line of two feed and stuff like that. And, you know, watch my two feeding videos too in the description down below. And, uh, you know, if you need a personal call with me, FaceTime with me, um, it costs money now, guys. Sorry, you know, it costs money now. There's a lot of people text me now. Um, but yeah, just uh, just text me and, uh, you know, cash at me. I'll FaceTime you an hour, an hour, at least an hour. I'll make sure you did it damn good well, too. Everybody I FaceTime has done a good job. So, 
I'm a fucking pro. <laughs> um, but even that, you should be good. Uh, learn how to tea feed, guys. That's all I can say. Watch out for, uh, you know, pneumonia or upper respiratory infection and have antibiotics on standby. You know, Clavamox or amoxicillin or, um, you know, just antibiotics, right? Just have it on standby. If anytime your puppies get sick or you're ever dealing with like any GI issues like Giardia or Coccidia, um, have those medicine med medications on standby. You never know what you're gonna, you know, go through. Um, but either than that, that should be my guide on how to uh, puppy whelp, uh, you know, your first time litter. So if you guys enjoy this video on, uh, you know, me going through this shit, because it, it may seem like common sense to me now, but trust me, guys, I, I've been in your shoes and it was pain, bro. It was, I was a rookie too, just like y'all. Um, just learning, still learning to this day. I'm not, I'm still learning. I mean, I'm good enough now where I can teach people now where my, I have successful litters. But then sometimes you guys, you will have litters that will just go spiral down and you just can't do anything about it. Like fading puppy syndrome, true fading puppy syndrome, right? True fading puppy syndrome. You cannot do anything with it. Your pups will die. And that's just the way it is, guys. Guys, the ones that text me, guys, if you guys are new, there's people that text me all the time, right? If the pup's gonna die, I don't beat around the bush, especially, especially if you have blood coming out the nose of your puppy or, or the mouth. 99% of the time that pup's gonna die, guys. I'm just, I don't beat around the bush no more, man. Like, for real. Like, no more. I, I never did, right? I, I never did, honestly. I don't beat around the bush like how vets do it, like how some vets do it or other breeders do it. If your pup's gonna die, your pup's gonna die. It's just the way it is, you know? Just try your best. Just try your best and, you know, it's just the way it is. And, and I, I've been there. It, it hurts. It hurts when you lose a puppy, man. It's It's life right and, and it's fucking it sucks but but other than that guys i appreciate y'all man and uh you know just that's that's all i can say you know when it comes with puppy whelping and uh, you know your first time so if you still have any more questions just text my number for uh for a personal facetime call if you want that as well um to teach you everything that i know and uh you know if you're going through it just let me know you know um, if you pay for the hour, just, just make sure it goes to full. Like say, for example, we face them for 30 minutes, right? You got 30 more minutes that you can make another time, you know, that's it. So I love you guys, man. I appreciate the, uh, the content, uh, with the, the, the love for the support of my content and, uh, you know, that you guys learned something. I do have a book coming out in, uh, maybe in a couple months or maybe half a year. And then, uh, yeah, I will have my two feeding kit available very soon now, very soon. Um, and after that. That should be it. I love you guys. Let's go, baby.